Okay, so the other day I was actually looking through my comments for some, maybe some suggestions for some games to play, but I saw a comment that I read when I got it, but I totally forgot about while making the past few videos because I really wanted to make a video on these games, but the comment was saying I should check out State of Decay, and I actually, I love State of Decay. Surprisingly, I'm probably going to get a lot of suggestions for games I've played because I'm a little nerd who's played way too many games. <laughs> But State of Decay, in my opinion, is a game that definitely has a place right now. And I say that because we are a world lacking good zombie games. I know we have quite a few zombie games, but honestly, I feel like we need more. Because I love zombie games, and I know other people love zombie games. My Resident Evil videos did pretty good because those are zombie games. And, you know, zombies are just fun to kill. And when I think of a zombie game, I think of base building, I think of gun upgrading, I think of crafting. Uh, you know, I do think of games like Left 4 Dead, but I don't want a wave shooter when I think of a zombie game. It's fun to play here and there, but if I want to dump some hours into a good zombie apocalypse game, I want something where I can build my base up, I can upgrade my characters, I can add survivors, I need to eat and drink, that kind of stuff. And State of Decay might not have it all, and it might not have the most realistic gameplay or graphics, but it's pretty much the closest we have to it right now. I know there's games like Scum, and I do like playing Scum, but that game just is not what I mean. Honestly, I want a game that's single player, where I can do it on my own time, where I don't need to play with friends, and where I don't need to be in an online single player server, where it just feels like there's there's features lacking from the games, because a lot of games today need that online co-op to feel like the game that was being made. Now that's not a bad thing, I'm just saying we need more single player zombie games. And I know that State of Decay 3 was actually announced, and I'm pretty excited for that, but if you want a good zombie game now, where there is weapon crafting, and there is gun upgrading, and there is you know, attachments, and there's a lot of guns actually, and everything like that, and weapon upgrading, and adding survivors to your camp, and everything like that. State of Decay might be the game to go with, because even the first one, you had a base that you upgraded certain things here and there, you know, your, your kitchen, and your infirmary, and your bunk station, and they really opened up on that in the second game, being able to move from base to base, and having bigger bases and smaller bases that can house more things within it. It's just, they did really good on that. One in intriguing thing about this game that really not a lot of games have is permadeath and what that is is if you have a character it doesn't matter if it's the character you started with or the character you started the story with they can die and once they die the game's not over they're dead the game is over once all of your people die at your base all of your survivors so if one of them dies that's it so you have to really be sure to keep your favorite characters alive and if you level them up and get their skills really high up there and they die, it's just that's it. And some people didn't like that because your characters are gone and I did like that because when you were in the situation you played it more smart and you had to find a way around certain things because this is your character that you've been leveling up and if they end up dying you have to go to the next character to level them up. Maybe though you play it in a way that you level up every new survivor as they get added to your base and every new survivor you find. You play as them so you can level them up so if your character does ever die you can go to the next fully leveled up character. I don't know it adds to the play style of the game and I just I really enjoyed that part of it and I know a lot of people enjoyed it but a lot of people didn't enjoy it but whether you enjoyed it or not you can't argue that it's not something you see in a lot of games today and it adds to the uniqueness and it adds to the survival factor of the whole game. So I will say I have not completed this story for either State of Decay 1 or State of Decay 2. The reason being, I get so drawn into the survival, zombie survival aspects of the game, you know, getting your base as fully upgraded as you can and getting as many survivors and getting everyone upgraded and leveled up and everything and getting all their weapons, the best weapons you can get. And I, I kind of get drawn into that and then I play for hours and I find a new game that I want to play. So I actually haven't finished either stories, but what I can say about the stories is 
I really enjoyed this story for State of Decay 1. It, it started with you and your buddy getting attacked by zombies while out camping and no one knows what's going on. And one thing I do like about this game too is they allude to the fact that these are zombies. It's not some weird monster that no one's ever seen before like some other games. And I've mentioned in past videos that I like games that I like games and movies that can, you know, point out the fact that zombies are a thing in the universe. You know, these games and these movies, it's not like zombies weren't a thing in their movies and their games and their, you know, I don't know. You guys get attacked and you end up finding this girl at a church and you see her dad get killed. You know, it's it's a whole story and it was really good in my opinion. I played a good amount of it. I know I said I didn't finish it, but I did play a good amount of it and I really enjoyed it. I know I keep saying that. State of Decay 2, on the other hand, I don't know its story, to be 100% honest. There's certain game modes you can play and from what I've been playing, it's just you start off with a random community every time and you just try to survive going from base to base and I haven't really found any story behind it other than just like notes you can pick up that might say something that is relevant to what's going on. It's not even really story. I don't know. I know that there is DLC though where you can do a story where you return to the original location and I think I mentioned that, I don't know, but I do remember playing it a while back, like right when it released. I played it on my old PC that actually couldn't handle it, but the first 15 minutes of unplayableness that I played, uh, I was at a prison and there was story there, but honestly, I could only play for 15 minutes as it was utterly unplayable. And when I got a new PC and started playing on that, it seemed very different. So I honestly don't know. That's why I'm saying to me, I just don't personally know the story for the second game, but the first game, I loved the story. In my opinion too, this game has no right being as fun as it is. For a game that was just released as an Xbox Arcade exclusive, it was crazy having so much fun playing this game. And then they brought in the second game with all the, the more gruesome tones and everything the second game had. And it was just, these games were so much fun to play. The driving mechanics, also, they had no right being as good as they are. The driving mechanics in this game, Maybe they're not good, but they are so fun to just drift around and go super fast and smash into zombies and door jack zombies. I don't know. It, w it was so much fun to play. Speaking of it being an Xbox Live Arcade game, you can actually get it now on Xbox Game Pass for free. Both of them, I'm pretty sure, are on there now for free. I will look into that and I'll throw it up on screen. But if you do have Game Pass, definitely go get them. Releasing back in 2013, it really feels like they drew inspiration from games like Dead Island and Dead Rising. You know, Dead Rising 3 came out the same year, so that's probably why this game was not really seen by a lot of people, in the zombie genre anyway, because there was a huge zombie game in one of the biggest zombie series coming out. And along with that, two years earlier and a year earlier, Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide came out which were big games in the zombie genre, so really, it, I could see why this game was overlooked, but I don't think it should have been. It was very underrated and very underappreciated, in my opinion. Along with that, the zombies are pretty good, too. There are different zombie types. The zombies run, they walk. There's a lot of zombies. It's not an empty world. There's zombies that you can drive through and yes there's cars and you need gas for the cars and the cars get broken down you need to pair them and there's that kind of realistic aspect to it now as i said it's not the most realistic looking or feeling game it is kind of cartoony it was made by microsoft but at the same time they did really well on giving you a world that feels like it could be a real zombie apocalypse and on top of that there's dlc to add even more to both games in the first game there was I don't remember both DLCs, but I do remember one was you were uh, in the military and you set up base at an airport or something or a parking lot. I don't remember. And you just have to hold out and you play through the story missions. And in the second game, they kind of have something similar to that, but it's a zombie wave mini game kind of thing. I don't know how to explain it, but that's more of an online thing. 
In State of Decay, you can drive around. You can loot houses. Every place you can go into. So you can go in and loot them. You can hunt zombies. You can find survivors. You can build your base up. You can get survivors to join. You can go trade. And it just, there's a lot to do. And it doesn't feel like you're locked down to the story missions in an open world game. Like a lot of zombie games do. See, that's why I say it's more like Dead Rising. Where it's just like, go do your thing. You can come back to the missions later. You know, live the zombie apocalypse and i think more zombie games need to take that approach i mentioned scum and scum is a scum is kind of like a zombie game but it's more of a they call it super max open world simulator or something like that i don't know but they have it to where everything is realistic you have a metabolism that's a that's a whole nother game for a whole nother video but that game is on a totally different scale of the quote-unquote zombie games that I'm talking about now. And I was mentioning DLCs in State of Decay 2, they do have really cool DLCs. One of them is actually being able to return to the original location of State of Decay 1. Uh, I think it's Tumble Valley or Trumble Valley, something like that. I'll throw it up on screen, but you get to actually go back to that location and you can build your camps there or you can just go drive around, you know. And one cool thing too is there's four different maps or three different maps or something and you're not locked down to it. Once you choose a map, that's not the map that you are stuck in for that playthrough. If you finish everything in the map, you actually move to the next location, which I also feel like keeps everything open because you also don't have to go to a certain next location. You choose your first location, you choose the next location you go to, and you choose the bases. Everything is just so free. And that is one big thing that I do love about the State of Decay games, because that's what you need more in a zombie game is an open game. Now, that's all I really have to say in this video about these games. Both games are really solid. If you're playing on PC, I would recommend the second game. The first game I found has some weird optimization issues, but then again, who knows? It could be my PC. I do have a newer graphics card, so it could just be messing with stuff. Who knows? I think both are great games. I think if you enjoy a good open world zombie game, this would not be a waste of your time and totally think you should check it out. And you should also check out my other videos on my channel. If you liked this one, let me know definitely what you liked about it in the comments. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Let me know what you think of State of Decay. If you liked this video, also hit that like, hit subscribe to stay updated for more. You know, it supports me. It's free. It helps. It gets me out there. Nevertheless, don't forget to check out BillyTheWhip.com or just Billy the Whip on any music platform. My fans are kicking in. They love to do that right at the end of videos. So I will catch you guys in the next video. And I hope that everyone here has a great day. There was a misinput. Misinput. Calm down.